All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash, to be honest, the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, this is just going to be a short clip, all right, as an update. Okay, um, you know, and uh, in here it says uh, NATO doesn't need to exist. Okay, Ron Paul to RT. All right, and this was published uh, April 5th, all right, 2019, which is uh, today. Okay, so it says, uh, NATO foreign ministers meet in Washington, D.C., April 4th. It says, commenting on the 70th anniversary of NATO, former U.S. Congressman Ron Paul told RT the alliance is actually harmful to U.S. interests. <laughs> to U.S. interests of peace and commerce, empowering only the military-industrial complex and those who want, who want empire. A uh, libertarian le uh, leaning politics spoke up against NATO at the time of its founding in 1949. Paul told RT on Friday, adding that seven decades later, the alliance doesn't need to exist. Okay. So here he's basically saying, all right, that the NATO alliance, all right, is, it doesn't, it has no value. There's no point in, in, in having it. All right. And this is all leading to prophecy. Okay. Because according to prophecy, um, in, in, in this Third World War, okay, America's so-called allies are also going to be part and shoot, uh, are also going to take part in shooting missiles, all right, on America, okay, or as the scriptures calls America, Babylon, all right, Babylon the Great, okay, so it says, the, the, uh, to keep the military-industrial complex going, to keep the agitation, you always have to have an enemy, all right, which makes sense. You know, because it's it's having a common enemy that draws people together to form alliances, okay? But here, he's basically saying that in, in order to keep that going, you have to constantly have an enemy, and if you don't have one, then there's no point. All right, so it says, Paul was concerned about the principle... It's like you. About the principle of having an international organization that not only gets the U.S. involved everywhere around the world, but also badgers the, and pressures other countries to back U.S. adventures in places like Adva Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria, and, and, and elsewhere. It's as he pointed to the looming inability of Washington to afford a global empire. The U.S. national debt is currently $22 trillion and counting, which is true, all right? And that's, that's a very, very, uh, 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 that's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of debt the U.S. is in. Which is why ultimately they're gonna go to war because they can't they can't pay off this debt. It's not gonna it can't pay it off. Okay. It says and growing dis dissatisfaction of allies with the U.S. imposing its will and telling them what to do. You have Turkey where the U.S. is telling them that they can't be purchasing Russia's uh, was the S four hundred defense missile system or missile defense system, and Turkey's like you know what to hell with it. We're still gonna do it anyway. Okay. You have you have Turkey blaming um, blaming the U.S. for their for their uh, economy doing bad, okay, and you have all these other countries too who are who are who are seeing I guess you could say seeing the true colors of the U.S. Now that you have Trump as president, okay, and they're they're starting to to reconsider like yo like <laughs> you know like like maybe maybe the U.S. isn't that much of an ally after all, all right. It says I don't think. That's going to last forever. Matter of fact, I see some cracks in that already, Paul said. Okay? So, <laughs> yeah, here it is. You got Ron Paul out here saying that NATO doesn't need to exist, which it's going to cease to exist soon. Okay? The, well, the NATO, the NATO as you know it now is going to cease to exist. Okay? But, hey, that was just a quick, quick article. All right? You know what I mean? Just uh, continue to watch the times. All right, and measuring measuring the times diligently, okay? But um, low will and this is that fine to the elect. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.